But I can't think, and uh, this will surprise you, I can't think of a better way to end my set than for me to just stop talking. Okay, <laughs> that's, that's a little bit too much banter. But I've thought of a better way. I've thought of a better way. I've written a brand new bit. Yeah, brand new bit just for tonight. That's right. Yeah, and this has taken me to the top, yeah? This is mainstream stuff. I wrote it on the train from London, and that is only a <coughs> hour and 40-minute journey. Guess where we are. <laughs> and so that's not a lot of time to work on a new bit, is it? And uh, I'll be honest, I napped for an hour and 10. So <laughs> only had 30 minutes to get on it. So don't get your hopes up. Why would we, Toad? Why would we? <laughs> all right, all right. That's a little close to the bone there. <laughs> Tone's bone. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Brand new band. This, this is the mainstream bit. This is taking me to the top. Yeah, goodbye wherever we are with massive balconies. And hello, Apollo. See you later, losers. Come on, Tony, you remember when we did that gig at the place that you wouldn't name? <laughs> like, sorry, that didn't happen. I'm sorry, that didn't happen. What, even that ill-advised bit where you ta went over to the guy who was just like being a normal dude and then you accused him of having a stony, horrible face? <laughs> and then he stared you out and he won and that's why you're now staring at the floor? <laughs> Do you mean that gig? No, that never happened. I don't know. <laughs> never happened, I don't know what you're talking about. I've ceased using my peripheral vision. Again, give me some fucking oh. <laughs> brand new bit, brand new bit. Here we go, brand new bit. Let's take me to the top. Let's take me to the top. Let's take me to the top. What's he giving them? Some sort of gold. <laughs> that's right. That's how. I, okay, here we go. Brand new bit. An Indian elephant and an African elephant walk into a bar. My advice is get the fuck out of the bar straight away. <laughs> Those are two massive creatures. They're in an unfamiliar environment. They will stampede. <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> ah, ah, there's elephants in the bar. Where would there be elephants in the bar? Gonna, psh, get a hold of yourself, man. <laughs> ah, the fucking elephants in the bar. You may be tempted to hide underneath one of those chairs. Do not do it. They will ruck it up with their tusks. You need to move, people. Move. Move. Ah, I can't believe there's fucking elephants in the bar. Why would there be elephants in the bar? I can't believe there are elephants in the bar. How would they even fit them in the bar? They're too big to get through the door. They'd have to disassemble them and reassemble them. Why would they go through that bother to do a fucking thing? What? 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 You think you think the elephants have left? You think it's gone? You think the elephants are gone? You think they're gone? You want me to go and check, don't you? You want me to go and check. The brothers are gonna be brave, I'm gonna be brave. The brothers are gonna be brave, I'm gonna go see if the elephants you want me to go see if the They're still here! <laughs> <laughs> My boyfriend's still in the loo! He's dead to you now. <laughs> Move! I'm with you, so, uh... <laughs> that was the choice I made there. So... Um, well, that's, that was the last bit. Uh, they do say do your new bits um, at the beginning. So this is the most awkward part of the show, and I probably should have done this um, at the end when we were recording, but... Um, I'm gonna be. Um, I'm gonna go out after the show uh, and sell um, sell um, sell previous DVDs. <laughs> <laughs> Just be stood out front. You can buy them. They're only ten pounds, euros, dollars, <laughs> whatever. And um, God, this is the worst sales pitch ever. <laughs> I'll sign them if you want them. <laughs> and um shouldn't be probably recording a DVD and then trying to sell your old DVDs. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I don't know I don't I don't know how it works. So, you know, come come by them, we'll have a chat and 
may be awkward, but I happen to know they've got to clear the room for another show, so every single one of you will have to walk by me. <laughs> so it's not just going to be awkward for me. <laughs> it's going to be awkward for all of us. <laughs> that is no way to finish a show. Mm. And now, the same routine from the perspective of the elephants. <laughs> we all deserve a voice, don't we? We all deserve a voice. Indian elephant, African elephant, walk into a bar. Indian elephant, God, this place is disgusting. <laughs> this is the worst bar I've ever been in. Why is everyone running around? This is such a shit bar. <laughs> oh my God, this is the worst bar I've ever been in. That's because the Indian elephant was brought up by hardworking immigrants who put him through a good university. But in his third year, he went to America for the summer, turned into a bit of a penis. <laughs> That's why he talks like such a cock. <laughs> so then the African elephant says to him, Hey, hey, what is it about this bar that you don't lie so much? This is a nice bar and I'm having a hipper time to be here. That's because the African elephant is actually a white, racist South African elephant <laughs> who thinks it's funny to do that voice. <laughs> oh my God, that is so fucking racist, man. I can't believe you did that. It's not for you to do. You've got to have a connection to the area. That is racist? Yes, I know. <laughs> but it is an addictive voice and it makes me hipper to do it. <laughs> oh my God, that's so cynical. It's like you've created an entire routine just so you can do that voice. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> but it is an addictive voice. In fact, I started with the voice and then I worked backwards. <laughs> like the layers on an onion. <laughs> Fucking hell, you don't even do it very well. Yes, I know. But well, that is because I have no place to practice it. Because I can't practice it to, at home or I would have no wife. And I can't practice it with my friends because they are not Nazi guys. So I have to practice it in my head. And in my head it is perfect. But then it comes through my face hole. And it's not too good anymore. Oh, I have to say, you don't do your voice too good either. <laughs> you sound a bit like Jack Whitehall to me. <laughs> what? <laughs> Not enough people know who I am for this bit to work. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> Although increasingly, since I first did this bit six months ago, you have become a lot more popular. <laughs> Making the impact less. Less powerful. <laughs> Fucking hell, dude. You're such a bitter old man. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, Jack Whitehall. I think you are a funny guy. <laughs> I think you have funny bones. You are funny everything you do. But you haven't had to go through as many hurdles as me. <laughs> you don't know what it is like to have to do junglers, comedy clubs. <laughs> oh. Another name of a comedy club <laughs> where you die two out of three nights every weekend. And people chase you down the road, chasing you with sticks. <laughs> Not because you have said anything offensive, they like that. But because you have offended their sensibilities. <laughs> with whatever it is that you're doing, they don't understand and also the not being misogynist the don't like it. <laughs> You're still banging on about this even though a significant portion of the audience still don't know who I am. <laughs> but I think your recent success means that most of them do now. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> you, <laughs> you need to calm down. You need to calm down. I th There's no ending to this bit, is there? We both know this. <laughs> I think what we need to do is introduce a third elephant. <laughs> no! 
That's not an ending. It's just making the ending further away. Yes, I know. <laughs> Hello. I'm Morgan Freeman Elephant. <laughs> and boy, I tell you, if there's one thing I knew about old Tony Law, he'd get to the end of a routine, and boy, he'd have no ending. <laughs> he'd just start digging and digging <laughs> through 10,000 yards of piss and shit just to, <laughs> just to find some sort of way to end this goddamn routine. Boy, <laughs> what? <laughs> You don't even sound like Morgan Freeman. <laughs> well, I think I sound a little like Morgan Freeman. I mean, shit, I'm just trying to help you out, brother. I'm just trying to help you out. I was down the road doing a romantic comedy. I heard you needed a third elephant, and shit, I signed up. I signed up, brother. I'm trying to help you out. You need to back off. You're Matthew McConaughey, elephant. <laughs> That's right, man. I'm doing romantic comedies right now. But I'm also doing serious stuff. Did Killer Joe, and then that other one. Then I did the stripping one. You know, I'm digging it. <laughs> what? You need to chill out, brother. I like this elephant here. <laughs> he is a nice one. That's right, I like you too, brother. You're laid back like me, man. <laughs> Shit. Shut up, what? <laughs> Tell you what we need to do. We need to introduce a fourth elephant. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ, what kind of inappropriate elephant is Tony going to do now? <laughs> oh, shit, man. Shit, man, listen. The economy of Trinidad and Tobago cannot afford to keep a full-size elephant in the Port of Spain Zoo. I mean, Trinidad and Tobago is a virtual tropical paradise 30 years ago. But the drug trade has ravaged the economy and turned on Tobago. All the countries that are in the region where the drugs have to travel through have turned into a nightmare. The murder rates are some of the highest in the world. And they got... What? What? What, <laughs> what is this? The political bit about the economy of Trinidad and Tobago? <laughs> well, yeah, shit, man. Listen, you gave me the platform, I decided to talk. <laughs> Monkey know what tree to climb. There's a phrase you never forget. <laughs> but listen, <clears throat> listen, listen, you guys, listen, that's not the real reason I'm here. The real reason I'm here <laughs> is you're gonna shut this routine down. <laughs> I've been watching from the side and there's no Indian to this routine at all. I realized I was too Jamaican just then. You need to shut down this damn routine. There's no ending inside. You need to end the damn routine, nah? You need to end the damn routine. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm Tiny Elephant. I'm over here. Why don't you shine the torch on me? I'm a tiny elephant. I've got a, I've got a suggestion. I'm a singing tiny elephant. I think we should finish with a song. I don't know how to end. Does 
doesn't know how to end his show. Doesn't know how to end his show. So he doesn't know how to end. Doesn't know how to end his show. self-indulgent ending, but it'll take me a long time to get this many people to watch me. If I want to end it like this, goddammit, I will. <laughs> Twelve years to get a hundred people in Cardiff. I think we deserve more ending, don't you? think that's a perfect place to end the show, wouldn't you? <laughs> that's enough ending, isn't it? But, but I think there's more in us, and I didn't see any flags flying as much. <laughs> more in us, let's do it! Now, that definitely is the end. Um, <laughs> you've been lovely. Thank you so much. Thank you, Russia Deed. This is definitely the... Yep, there we go. <laughs> so that just happened. <laughs> you've been very kind. Thank you very much indeed. Enjoy the rest of your night. <laughs>